based upon what I've heard Derek Chisora say in this interview and a couple other interviews, he has turned down the Tyson Fury fight. There's a lot of talk about contracts and not being sent to Chisora and blah, blah, blah. But Chisora, if you listen to these interviews, says that he wasn't happy with the money. He was offered $2 million pounds or $2 million, apparently by Fury, to fight later on this year. And Chisora thinks that isn't enough. Now, would you call that a duck? Ordinarily, I would say yes, and maybe it still is a duck, but the situation with Chisora is a little different to most in the sense that if you had a regular contender who was desperate for a world title shot and they were offered this two million by Fury, which was by far their biggest payday, which would be by far their biggest payday, if they then turned it down and said it's not enough money, then I would say, oh yeah, that's a duck. But the difference with Derek Chisora is that ever since he lost the second Fury fight, he's, ex he's shown no interest at all in fighting for a world title. <laughs> Literally none. People have asked him over the years, like, are you interested in chasing this world title fight or Wilder or AJ or, you know, whatever? And he's like, I don't care about titles. Literally, the guy has no ambition, it would seem, to become a world champion. All he wants is good fights that excite him, fighters whose style he thinks he matches up well against, and big money. That's it. He's taking the term prize fighter very, very literally. He just wants the prize, and he wants to be in fun fights, fights that you know, excite him and excite the crowd. So with that, the incentive of having a world title shot is really not there for Derek Chisora. And with regards to the money that Fury offered him, again, you could say it's a duck, but how much was Derek Chisora paid for his last fight against Kubrat Pulev? Was it anywhere close to two mil? I mean, I wouldn't have thought so, but who knows? I don't know what kind of numbers Derek Chisora did on the zone uh, fighting Kubrat Pulev. Maybe somebody can ask Eddie Hearn. I'm sure he'll say, I can't talk about that. But yeah, I don't know how much Derek Chisora has been getting lately. If he hasn't been getting anywhere close to 2 million, then yeah, it's a duck. Uh, because, you know, this would be a trilogy fight with Tyson Fury. So you can understand why he would want a load of money to get in there against the guy who's almost certainly going to beat him. I say almost because it is heavyweight boxing so you have to put in this sometimes put that in there sometimes some random shot from the gods can land once in a, a million fights but in you know for all intents and purposes this is a guaranteed loss for Derek Chisora so if you were going to go in there for a third time against the guy who's already beaten you twice wouldn't you want a load of money <laughs> to do that when you potentially have other options Maybe there is the possibility of him fighting one of the other top contenders out there for more money than two million. Do you know what I mean? So I guess he's like, I won't say hedging his bets, but he's thinking practically like, if I lose this fight against Fury, which I almost certainly will, that's probably going to be the end of me. Yeah, and I know we always say this fight could be the end for Chisora and he keep, keeps on coming back. but. The Fury fight would likely be one-sided. Do you know what I mean? And Chisora, can he really take another one-sided beating? So, yeah, you guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Would you call this a duck by Derek Chisora, turning down two million to face Tyson Fury? Maybe it is. Maybe it is. It all depends on how you want to define a duck. So, yeah, that's my take on it. Give me your take in the comments.